Chris Young. I know you want to talk about Mike Trout. And we've been saying in the early part of this season, it appears that he came into 2024 with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. I think so. I think with Otani leaving, understanding this is still my team, him getting with Ron Washington, understanding what is going to be the identity of the Angels. I feel like Trouty is taking that and taking that responsibility, putting it on his shoulders and coming into this season and saying, I'm going to make the adjustments at the plate yeah. and on the bases and come out here and show us how the Angels I get it I love CY. BK did 30 clubs in 15 days. I don't think you were I was with there. I was, with him. With him? I was with him. When he asked a question about, hey, you were the number one player in the game. You've mm -hmm. kind of taken a little slide. And he said, when I'm right, I'm still the number one player in the game. I, hey, you know how I feel about this cat. I think he's a guy that going into the year, he's not a top, you know, 10 player in the game. And you're like, Ugh. Uh, watch. It's a little early. I understand the injury history. You understand what it is. But when Trouty's on the field, he is a top five player in the game, no doubt. And he's doing this year what he's been doing his entire career, and that's mashing balls down in the zone. It but what really is. Yeah, I want to dig into just – this is auto-take, but dig into a few of his at-bats that he's had throughout the season. When Dero, when you watch where his sights are set, just pay attention to what he's firing at. Hold on, let's run that back real quick. Say, Pause that, that down. and run this back a little bit. See where this pitch is. And, and he's what he's all over this. He's all over this. I understand this is bottom of the zone, so it looks like he's swinging out of the zone. But this is where Trouty's sights are set right now. After he fouls this ball off, you just pay attention to what he's looking at. Pitchers are trying to execute the fastball up. Man, this pitch is a few inches off the ground. Mm. This is a triple dead to center field, and this is where you have to understand what are your strengths as a hitter. When you know your strengths, you attack that zone, try to lock in, and if the pitcher makes a mistake, you take advantage of it. Another at bat. I think we're in Miami right here. We can run this. We can run this. Watch where his his sights are set. Auto take first pitch. We'll see how that gets exposed later in the season. But up in the zone, he's really not firing at it. Just watch. Hold on. Yeah. Pause this real quick. That was a good run, take right there. Run that back one more time. That's the book on him. That's where you got to go. So this bell high heater a little north of it and get him up under it. And if he gets in trouble, he'll start swinging at this pitch. He'll start chasing it. But when you're Trouty, if you have your sights down here, the pitch at the top of the zone, it looks so high to you. Mm -hmm. Like that pitch looks like Auto take it. It looks like it's over your head almost because your sights are literally set when you're hitting. I'm looking for anything right in here. So if I'm looking in here, if it comes out the pitcher's hand, even right here, it looks extremely high. Right he doesn't in. fish at some sliders in the dirt. Look at he that. He will ball. sometimes. Yeah. He will sometimes, and that's okay. So, I mean, auto take almost right here. He's shaking his head. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, Missed my location. God. Dang. Watch where this goes. Good grief. You see where that went, Robert? It's like 473, I think. This is his happy zone. We're going to run through one more my at bat. It just shows when. When you know what your zone is, the best hitters are really able to lock it in. Auto take again. First pitch. Pitch is going to start throwing fastballs right down the middle on the first pitch. Okay, hold on. Pause that. Pause that. Run it back. He, the breaking ball, he swung and missed a little more. Swung and missed at the breaking ball in a 1-0 count. Yeah. This is okay, though. This is the zone that he's looking for. It starts off where he feels like it needs to be, breaks off a little more horizontally than he thinks it's going to be. Yes. Swing and miss. So what? Strike one. All right, now let's keep it going. You're going to see Mayton is going to try to see Same if he chases again. All right, adjustment made. Oh, mommy. Mm. Dang it. Wow. Remember they used to say don't triple up? Now, the guys are like quadrupling up on stuff. Every oh, time, my God. Every time you miss right there, he is ready for it. So pitchers are walking a really fine line on where can you miss because if you know that a guy is going to hammer you at the bottom of the zone, you have to go a little bit below it. But if you miss a little up, you're in trouble. Let's pull up the screen on his slugging numbers, bottom of the zone. When you're thinking about what a guy does well, he's a player who's going to literally mash it at the bottom of the zone. He's one of the best in baseball. It's a stat cast powered by Google yeah. Cloud. Last night on MLB Tonight, we dug into his numbers on the breaking ball, which he's hammering the breaking Killing ball, it. and he's not swinging and missing at the breaking ball. League average on the breaking ball is on the swing and miss. Chase, whiff rate, 37%. Trouty's right at 10% right now. So he's well above league average row flow. Mashing ball at the bottom zone. What we're saying right now, this seems like a spoiler. Trotty's watching like, man, they're going to start changing. This is what teams are looking at already. They know what these numbers look like. Pitchers are trying to execute the pitch right here, but they're missing right now. Yeah. They're going to keep trying to do it, but you have to be able to use the top and the bottom of the zone. But Trotty's taking advantage every time right now, and I love what I'm seeing from him. 
He's the closest guy I've ever seen to Barry Bonds as far as letting the ball get deep mm -hmm. and exploding on it. He has got the most violent, and Robert, I say this all, he's got the most violent core I've, I've ever seen as a hitter. He just destroys the baseball. You go back, go down a wormhole one night and watch him in high school. His same body swing. almost, it was the same swing. It almost mm. fired too quick for him to understand. Thank God that Angel Scout forced it. I mean, because it's something yeah. that can't be taught the way he can yeah. fire on the ball.